Hi, it's Andrew Terranova. Let's talk robots. Let's talk solar beam robots. So I'm teaching a robotics course for kids at the Kaleidoscope Learning Center, and it's run by a friend of mine. And I wanted to explain to the kids the concept of beam robotics. Uh, this is a field of robotics invented by a guy named Mark Tilden. Now, Mark is a robot scientist, robot physicist, who came up with this idea that the four main elements of robotics are biology, electronics, aesthetics, and mechanics. And you can take these four elements and put them together and make a robot. Now, uh, one of the other concepts in beam robotics is uh, the idea of a nervous network. And a, a nervous network can be put together with a, just a few simple electronic components, and it'll model a certain behavior. So, for example, you might look to inspiration from biology and select maybe the behavior of an insect and try to model that electronically and mechanically and blend them together in a way that, uh, that looks right. And in, in beam robotics, the, the form follows the function. It looks a certain way because it has to look that way to function. So that's a little bit about beam robotics. And I wanted to explain some of these ideas to the kids. So uh, I wound up putting together a short video with some example robots made by members of Let's Make Robots. And I happen to focus in on solar robotics. So let's take a look at some of my very favorite solar beam robots from Let's Make Robots. <laughs> this is my this is my first beam bot. It's the standard TriMet or SciMet and uh, I just finished it. It's my very first one. And it's so cool. It's so I had I laughed and laughed when I first did it because it just sits here and does that. I've got ideas though for future excitement. Is this cool or what? Oh, what's a test video without a little failure, huh? A little troubleshooting? Why not? Damn it. The sun is coming from the left, so now it means that the left solar panel is getting more power than the right one, and he's starting to turn himself around. There you go. And now he should start picking up some speed. Now you can see him going directly into the sun. Oh, that is so cool. And it's getting the wiggly wiggly I wanted. So it's not the motor, it was um, my not, not knowing what's going on. And the shadows are awesome. Look at that, Look at that shadow. Is that cool? That's the best. This would have to be a beach companion. Patio companion? Okay, this is a patio companion.